hello guys i am with another very very important question from this exercise 4b on friction now this question is basically uh, since you have uh, already covered uh, all of the exercise so uh, i believe you guys uh, uh, do not have any problem in determining the values of r and the and the frictional force, the limiting friction, finding the acceleration or the deceleration. Uh, now, the problem with this question is that this this in, in involves this this requires a very very strong uh, grasp on algebra. If your algebraic skills are really good, then you 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 will definitely enjoy solving such a question. Now, the question says a box of mass 50 kg. You see, I have shown. The mass is given as 50, so I've shown the weight as 500 newtons. Okay, and there is a R because this is uh, a rough. This is uh, moving on a rough horizontal ground, so we have to show this R. The coefficient of friction uh, between the box and the the the, the ground is 0.3, so this is given to us as 0.3. So we can determine the frictional force. Let's do that before we proceed into the question. So the frictional force is going to be mu R, that is 0.3 times 500. So that is going to be 150 newtons. Okay. Now it says uh, this box is basically slowing down on the surface. So that means the box is moving in this direction. This is going towards the right side. And there are two forces which are stopping, trying to stop this box. One is obviously the frictional force that we've just calculated, which is 150 newtons. The other is um, the, um, there is another force which is um, being uh, which is trying to slow it down through a string providing a tension of 25 newtons horizontally so I have shown this in pink this string where there is a tension of 25 newtons in it now it says uh, now it says uh, let me read this completely it says um, the coefficient of friction between the box and the ground is 0.3. To start with, the box is being slowed by a string providing a tension of 25 newtons horizontally. Then the string breaks and the box comes to a halt under friction alone after a total distance of 14.5 meters. So we have to find how far the box traveled before the string broke. Okay. I have uh, drawn another diagram over here. Now this is the distance x. I'll suppose that this is being covered when both the forces were trying to halt that box, the frictional force and the tension the string. And here is the point where the, the string breaks and this distance 14.5 minus x is going to be covered uh, while uh, only the frictional force trying to stop that box, okay? So let us, uh, like you see, this is uh, purely a question on algebra. So now we assume that the, 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 this is X is being covered while both the forces are trying to stop this box. So let's find out the acceleration. How much is the acceleration? Uh, I, I mean the deceleration over here. So um, there is no forward force, okay? But there are two forces trying to stop it. One is the tension the strain and the second is the frictional force and that is equal to ma this is going to be 50 a okay so this is um, this a is going to be minus 175 divided by 50 i think this is minus 3.5 meter per second square okay uh, now here the initial speed is it is given that it was uh, like you know when it, it all happened it's it was slowing down and this its initial speed was 10 meter per second okay so we have the initial speed where the distance let's find the final speed what was the speed when the string broke okay so i'm going to calculate it here um, now uh, we have two a s which is x equal to v square minus u square that is minus 10 square so this v square is going to be uh, 100 i'll just keep it like this 100 minus 7x so guys here 
the speed is uh, going to be the square root of 100 minus 7x okay now the string has broken so guys you will have to re-evaluate the acceleration the deceleration now the frictional force is the same but this this force is no more there so let us re-evaluate the acceleration now there is no forward force but there is the frictional force which is minus 150 equal to the mass is 50 and we have to find the acceleration so this acceleration is going to be minus 3 meter per second square okay so uh, now we we know that here the final speed will be zero because it has stopped after covering a distance of 14.5 okay so i'll be using you see this is all algebra so i'll be saying now 2 into a into s now the s is going to be this 14.5 minus x it says 14.5 minus x that is equal to mass is 50 times the uh, sorry um, v square which is sorry uh, sorry 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 it says v square minus u square so when you square this this is going to be now u okay the final speed for this section is going to be the initial speed for the next section so this is 0 square minus I'll be used putting that in bracket this is 100 minus 7x okay so guys if you solve this equation let me see right this is minus 6 into 14.5 minus x that is minus uh, 100 minus 7x so you can cancel this minus with a minus and then you can solve this equation you will get that distance which was covered when both the frictional force and the tension they were intact okay thank you very much